Well, hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to get to the Challenge Labs. So this is where in AWS Academy, you can actually take some time and do whatever you want. It's, I, it looks like it's limited to three hours now. So um, this, you already have to be in an AWS Academy course uh, and it's down at the very bottom. Scroll down to the very bottom. You can see here the sandbox environment. So if we click on the sandbox environment, it will bring up Volcrum, okay? And this is how we can start a lab and end a lab. Sorry, I'm. if you see right behind me, uh, there's this end a lab, and then there's actually some time and instructions and stuff uh, that, sorry, my head's in the way, my, or my body. But uh, there's the details um, that you can do, and you can show if this is has started. But let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and start this lab so you can just get a general fill. Um, so by the way, once the lab has started, so I've talked in, the, in other videos about labs take a little time to warm up. So this is what just happened. It's, it's going out there, it's creating the environment. So the, these labs in the Amazon Web Services um, Academy, in AWS Academy, they create these own little environments, these lab environments that are locked down. You can't do everything in them, but they go away when you're done. Um, and it's really, really is good from a cost standpoint and stuff as well. So, but it takes a little time to warm them up because it's, it's going and it's creating that environment. So it's now created. Uh, it gives me the ARN, the creation time. Uh, so the, the first part of the lab, now it's creating a few more things here for me. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is uh, the cost for these. So uh, depending on your institution, some of these Amazon might do for free, uh, but still, even if it's not for free, we should learn best practices on closing things when we're done. So uh, when you're done, just make sure that you've submitted whatever you need to do for the assignment to show that you've done it, taken your notes really well, um, and then come back in here to Volcrum and you have, and it's gonna be hard to see now because it's kind of grayed out, but that end lab that's kind of behind me. So once you've submitted everything, end the lab. It takes a few minutes to, to spin things down, but then it goes away. If you don't add, end it, then it's around for another, another so long before it will auto-terminate, uh, but they will go away. So if you look here, this says there's 240 minutes remaining. That's, that's four hours. Um, but some of it's gonna be eaten up by the creation of this lab. Uh, once again, as an instructor, you can warm these up before class starts. I don't do that. Um, what I do is I have students come in, I have them start the lab, and then we either have a quiz or we have some discussion about what they're going to be doing that day uh, while things are warming up any questions from before. It's a great time to be able to um, answer those questions that uh, have been uh, festering in people's minds. But, uh, so this is still going. I may pause the video if it takes much longer, um, but we'll wait a little bit uh, more. So I'm actually going to record a video in this lab uh, after I create it. Um, so, but there's this, it, this will allow you to play with almost anything. So once again, the AWS Academy, some of the things it doesn't let you play with are things like, um, of course, DNS. So Route 53 uh, is limited as well as IAM, uh, Identity Access Management is limited. So it is actually ready, cool. So. Uh, I can come here, I can get the details, which will show me the information for it. So here's the secret key and the access key. You should never show this to anyone, um, but this is a lab, so it's gonna go away. So this is what you use for API application program interface to be able to do things automatically. Um, so this, is what too often you find people post their stuff in GitHub and then hackers take it and spin up a bunch of Bitcoin miners. So be very careful with this. 
Don't put store this in your code. Okay, so uh, if I click on this AWS, it's gonna take me to my console specifically for this. Now, um, if I've already signed into the console, it's gonna have an error. When you start these labs, uh, and it tries to go here, when you finish, you need to come up here and you need to sign out. If you don't sign out, there's gonna be a cookie issue. So just sign out and end your lab each time. Um, so this also changes every time. So that's where if you mess up on the lab and you need to restart it, sign out right here, sign out, and then you come back here and you end the lab. Here, I'll move my head a little bit. End the lab, okay? Um, by doing that, you, number one, get rid of your cookie. Number two, you stop wasting the, the, the money to run these resources, okay? So that is what I wanted to show you, uh, how to get in to the sandbox environment in Amazon Web Services Academy. Thank you.